when we talk about audio, we also know that the range of human hearing goes from 20 to 20,000 Hertz. If you're not familiar with Hertz and frequencies, don't worry. We will have tutorials that will talk exactly about this. So I'll, have, I'll make a revision. We will start with a sine wave or a cosine wave, very simple. And we will talk about phase, amplitude, frequency, and I'll go through step by step to help you understand these very important concepts. But if you already worked with audio before, you already used some um, WAV files or you are setting up your USB audio device, you will encounter this thing called sampling rate, like we also encountered in our old example. So here, for example, we are loading this WAV file and here we are setting the sampling rate to none because in this function, if we set sampling rate to none, it will get the original sampling rate of this audio file. But we could set, for example, a value of, um, let's say, 44.1 kilohertz, which is the sampling rate used in CDs. And then this function would automatically convert the original sampling rate from this file to the desired sampling rate. The conversion of sampling rate is also an important topic that we will leave it for the future. But if you already uh, is interested about it, there is a tutorial from another subject that I give uh, lectures at the UMNO University of Technology that is called multi-rate signal processing. And then we will cover the sampling rate conversion, which is not a trivial topic and it also requires some background in mathematics and in signal processing. So maybe we will get there in the future, but now we are starting and here they just have a list of common audio sampling rates. So we will find maybe you have um, a file and it's uh, maybe it's eight kilohertz or depending on our application for telephone and walk talkies, they use this kind of sampling rates. We have here the 44.1 kilohertz, which is in the audio CD. We also have here 48 kilohertz, that is the standard audio sampling rate used by professional um, audio equipment. We also have 96 kilohertz that there is uh, for some Blu-ray and DVD audio. So it, it has an impact when you decide your sampling rate you are making a choice. So if you have a smaller sampling rate, you need less samples in one second, but you also lose some information. A summary, the sampling rate is the number of samples in one second, and it's measured in Hertz or samples per second. So usually you find a lot of um, examples in li literature that we use the FS for sampling frequency or SR for sampling rate. And we also have the sampling period. So is, this is the sampling interval. This is the time or distance between which samples are taken. And the formula is given by one divided by the sampling period is the sampling rate. So if we have the sampling period, we divide the, we take the inverse of the sampling rate, and then we will have the sampling period. And the sample rate is related to the length of these the audio data here. Because, for example, if we are using a sample rate of 48, it means 48 kilohertz or 48,000 as this example. It means that there will be, in each second of audio, there will be 48,000 samples. And then if you have less than this, you can just do some proportionality. So if you have half a second, there will be 24,000. Or if you have two seconds, then you have two times 48, so 96,000.